Another useful aspect in the show value as is the ability to see the difference from one period to the next. So for example, I'm just going to make this simpler. So all I want to know is what has happened from January to February, February to March. So are we growing, are we declining, etc. I'm going to right click, I'm going to say value field settings. You'll see there's show value as. And down here, you'll see we've got an item called difference from. When I click difference from, you'll see again you need to specify which of the rows or columns you're going to use. So we've only got one row here the month, so we're going to use the month. And then you can specify, must it subtract it from one of the items? So must it subtract it all from January as if that's sort of a benchmark month? Or must it just show us how it compares to the previous month? So when I say previous and I say OK, what you'll notice is January, it's given us effectively a zero because what it's saying is January is subtracted from itself zero. This 953, what it's telling us is that February is 953 more than January, the previous month. And this negative 222 is telling me that since February, March has dropped down to 915. If instead of doing previous, we then maybe chose, let's choose February as our base month, our benchmark month. When I say OK, what you'll see now is it compares everything to February. So February versus February is 0. January is negative 953 from February. And March is negative 222 from February. A similar option as difference from is percentage difference from. Again, you specify the base field, the base item. So let's go back to previous. And when I say OK, it tells me percentage-wise what has happened. So it's telling me here that February has grown by 517%. That at 184 turning to 1138 was a growth of 517%. And March is a drop of 20%. So using difference from, we can compare month-on-month -month growth or product-on-product growth.